So today's Friday, chemo was Monday, and I was just kind of going through the video that I made the second day, the day after chemo, and a little follow-up that I did. So I just wanted to share a couple things. The, um, the new anti-nausea medication is way better than Zofran for me, and the way the nurse explained that is they address different receptor sites. And so if you are giving chemo and you're having trouble with nausea, and your nausea medication isn't touching it or doing anything or doing enough, talk to your doctor. Because it made a huge difference for me to not have that kind of nausea the second time around. Another thing is, um, each day gets better. I feel a little bit better each day, and there's some different symptoms and feelings coming on each day, but the, uh, the intensity and overall number of symptoms is reduced for most of it. So I was way more tired yesterday than I was the first couple days. And today I have some weird, like, random pains and discomfort in my body. Uh, but they're fleeting and just, like, here and there, just some discomfort. I just took some ibuprofen in case that's why. Maybe that's from the bone marrow injection. And uh, today I noticed, like, some, some well, this week with the new anti-nausea medication, I did notice that my eyes were blurry, like, pixelated almost. And I have trouble focusing on my phone and after taking it for a few days. Now today I didn't take it, um, but the last few days I started to notice my eyes kind of bothering me more than just visual issues, but like feeling tired and like almost like overworked as if you just watched like hours and hours of TV or your computer. And so today I didn't take it because I wasn't nauseous. And um, the nausea I have had today has just been very mild and, and manageable with food. And so, so far, I haven't taken any of that. I also forgot about my omeprazole, but I have no acid reflux right now. I did take some ibuprofen because I've had some random pains. I've had some pains like in my jaw, kind of, and a little bit in my teeth, and then some like body pain, uh, just more like muscle pain, and I'm hoping the ibuprofen will take care of that. Other than that, I feel like uh, each day is getting better, and now that I and reminded what it feels like to get chemo, I think I will look forward to it even less in two weeks, or in, yeah, two weeks. Good note, I have a PET scan coming up, and I'm really hoping that that shows that the tumors are gone, and then I'll be able to ask my doctor a little bit more about the plan, and I'm hoping, pray, I'm praying, and I will ask you to pray that I don't have to do six rounds of chemo. I know there's no have to, and there's a point at which I could probably choose to switch over to all natural. And that's what I'm praying for, and that's what I'm asking you to pray for, the point at which I will know for sure that it's safe to switch over. Thank you. Oh, I want to talk about food. So I mentioned in a previous video that, you know, what you want to eat and, well, what I want to eat and what works for me is, like, really hard to tell right after chemo. I definitely felt better with foods that I was craving rather than foods I should be eating. Um, it was hard, like when I ate the foods that are like really lean and give me all the nutrients I'm supposed to have, I was still nauseous. And the nausea is so hard for me to deal with. It may not be as bad for some people, but for me, I just, I just can't. And so we had Tijuana Flats, which we had nachos. Oh, that actually sounds good, right. And then the next day I got Sunny's, which didn't sit as well with me. I probably should have gotten pulled chicken, but I got sliced pork. And it's just too fatty. Um, so I ate a little bit of pulled pork today, and that felt pretty good. But, for example, today I started with some toast. I was cleaning, and I saw a recipe for banana bread, and I was just like, banana bread sounds amazing, but I can't do gluten. And I wasn't going to bake banana bread, so really. And so I just got some toast. I made some toast with jelly and butter. And then a little while later, mm, I had some granola cereal. And then a little while later, I had some pulled pork, which I got as much of the fat off of that as I could, like after cooking it, just, you know, dabbed it like you would a pizza. Because I'm not supposed to have too much fat. And so just ate that, and that sat pretty well. And then I steamed some potatoes, an onion, and um, bok choy. So potatoes and bok choy are definitely on my diet. Onion is not really, but if you cook something really well, it kind of changes the the intensity of it. Now, if I cooked it in water, it would have been better because some of that, you know, acridness, some of the spiciness of the onion would have been cooked out. More more of it would have been cooked out. 
but I still ate it. Onion tasted sweet. It still has a pungent quality, but um, I think an onion cooked to that degree probably is on the safer side for me to eat, especially compared to eating Tijuana Flats, really. And that food sat really well with me. And bok choy is something I should be eating. Bok choy, collard greens, turnip greens, kale, spinach, all those help your body build blood. And your body builds blood from the marrow. And so those stimulate the marrow production. Um, red meats do too, but red meats are too young for me right now because chemo is young. It's hot. Young, young includes hot. And so eating red meats is too hot right now. And so if you're not doing chemo and you need to build blood, you can eat red meats. Buffalo, bison, um, lamb, mutton, beef, all of those will build blood. And normally that would be the kind of stew to make to increase your blood production. But for somebody with chemo, chemo is hot. And you don't want to add more heat to something that's already hot. And how can you tell if you have heat? You feel hot, for one. I had hot flashes. I feel heat waves after getting chemo. My stomach wants lots of water and lots of cold water, cold drinks. Um, and then just, like, heat sensations, random heat sensations. And, you know, maybe you can't sleep with covers, or maybe your temperature is hot and cold, hot and cold. That's how you can tell you've got some temperature issues going on. And I notice that, too. Sometimes I'm a little bit cold. Now, as we get further away from chemo, I feel more cold. And then right after chemo, I feel more hot. So that's the detox. The body's detoxing out that, that medication. Uh, if you have not had steamed potatoes, that is the cat's meow. So easy. I just steam like, uh, I haven't steamed like a, an Idaho baker type potato, but the red potatoes, the golden potatoes, you know, you want them to pick them all about the same size. And, and if they're medium size, about 30 minutes in the steamer and they have a really nice taste they're not dry the only thing about steaming is you don't get that you know firmness on the outside of the potato so if that's something you really like with a baked potato then that would be missing but the flavor is really good and they're not dry something I'm learning a benefit of chemo <laughs> uh, some positives I'm gonna say I get a lot more time with my kids and I am loving that. And sometimes I just, like this week, I haven't felt good. And so I'm glad that we're both home. And, you know, if, if you know, I'm too tired where my kids are really understanding, I just let them know, like, hey, I'm not feeling good. Let's watch a show. Let's sit down for a while. Or, you know, just let them know what's going on. And knowing that my body's healing something that was growing inside and I have to get rid of it and heal my body. And they understand, well, babies, the baby, but Harrison understands that I'm healing. And we did some art. Um, the first week I was home, Harrison and I painted, and I painted a little bird, and I I wanted to put the word heal on there for whatever reason. I mean, obviously, I want to heal. And then he wrote heal, and um, he misspelled it, which actually is a beautiful thing. It's kind of like the healing process is not as obvious as one would think. Sometimes there's pieces to that that you don't expect. And so that's, that's a nice representation of like, you know, just allowing things to be, you know, this misspelled word, you know, instead of spelling H-E-A-L, it's all sort of jumbled. And that's what the process is like. It's a jumbled process. And we're, we're figuring it out as we go. We're figuring something out that got us to where we are and, and getting that organized or sifted through or just embracing life's processes and that's one of the things I love about how we both painted that and you know he spelled it the way he spelled it and I spelled it the way I spelled it and I did some art with Babby today apparently crayons are my medium so I'll show you some pictures <laughs>